Hey guys, what's going on? So I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, Photo Mechanic and why I use it um, as part of my editing workflow. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about Photo Mechanic and how I personally use it. Um, so I believe Photo Mechanic originally was designed for like photojournalists and sports shooters and situations where like shooting, calling and delivering or getting the photos out super quick was vital. Um, so the whole thing is built for that, for speed. Um, it's not really designed to be like an in-depth like photo editor or to organize files and things like that. Um, so I actually use Lightroom for that. And I'll show you a little bit about how they work together. Um, but yeah, basically I use Lightroom to uh, organize all my files and stuff. And then I'll use Photo Mechanic just to call the jobs. Um, I also use like Photo Mechanic at weddings to quickly call photos down. Um, because I do same day slideshows, so that allows me to get that done like super fast. Um, but so first, I guess let's, you know, take a couple minutes to actually set up Photo Mechanic to make it the most useful. I mean, there's a number of ways you can set it up, but this is kind of how I do it. Um, so when I open Photo Mechanic, I'm going to go to uh, my preferences of Photo Mechanic here. And let me see if I can move this. Here we go. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do, well, you'll come to, this will be like the first thing that you'll actually come to. So we want to go right here and select launching and then assign default application. And here, you know, I choose Adobe Lightroom classic CC is what I'm currently using, but you could use, uh, whatever your photo editor of choice would be. And that's what you would put that in at. And then we would just hit okay. Um, but before we do that, we're going to change a couple other things. Um, the next thing that I like to um, person change is my colors. Um, so I'm trying to get them to match uh, more with what Lightroom would look like. Uh, when you first go here, it just looks like the photo mechanic default, which is what this is, but this doesn't match up to Lightroom. So you click this little lightning bolt here and then hit Adobe Lightroom and you'll notice that they all change. So now, um, just like in Lightroom, you know, um, this would be red, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and Lightroom doesn't use any of these, so we're not gonna use those in here either. Um, and then lastly, the thing that I like to change is my keyboard shortcuts, which to do that, you would go to accessibility. No, nope, maybe don't go to accessibility. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, and then right here, uh, instead of the default, which is zero through eight, I set mine to zero through five so it matches more accurately what Lightroom would be using as far as the star ratings. Like when you hit one, you know, to give it one star, two, two stars, and so on. So now that we've done all that, we're going to hit OK. And this is actually um, raw files from a Nikon D50. I haven't like built any previews or anything like that in Lightroom. This is the straight import it into Lightroom and then open them up in Photo Mechanic. Over here to the side is where you would like find your photos and the way I have mine set up, I work from an external drive here and then I have them in this called at review folder. And then I'm working on this particular wedding right here and I got it already kind of broken down in Lightroom uh, for the getting ready portrait ceremony and reception. So I'm just gonna do just the getting ready portion now. And uh, what I would have done is double click this and it would open this contact sheet area here. So now that we have the contact sheet area open, um, we can actually double click a photo and it brings up this large preview so we can easily see the photos. And I've actually already called this uh, particular part of the wedding, so I'm not gonna recall it, but I'll kind of show you what I did. Um, you'll notice here uh, is the star rating. So I've already selected this one as a two, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, that's basically what the two means for me. Um, any kind of star rating means it's a keeper. And if it's not rated, it means it's not going to be kept. Um, so like this one has no star rating. And, but you'll notice like as I go through these photos, like there is no buffering or like, you know, loading up a preview. It's just instant, you know, ready to go. And that's really kind of the power of the photo mechanic is there is no load times or anything like there is with Lightroom typically. I mean, there's things you could do in Lightroom to kind of help that, um, like building previews and uh, like using an SSD drive and stuff like that. But um, which is great and all if you're like at home in the office and, and you could do that. Um, but for situations like me, like when I'm at a wedding and I'm trying to call photos really quickly, um, photo mechanic just makes more sense because now I can just do this 
like 10 times as fast as I could with Lightroom. And I don't think you necessarily need to have an SSD drive and, and do all these other things like building previews to make it work when I can just use photo mechanic right away. Um, so anyhow, I've already starred these, but you can also assign colors to them too. So one thing that I do a lot is I use a color rating system to determine what type of photo it is. So maybe I'll choose yellow and that would mean um, that I'm gonna use it for social media and I'm gonna use it for my blog. I might label it blue if I want to use that for like the album, um, for publications, um, vendors and things like that. So at the end of it all, I'll have everything rated and then color code it. So I know like yellow and blues I'll use for my blog and social media. Um, just blues would be like just album photos and things like that. And this keeps me more organized. Um, but you could actually do that in here. So like say we wanna keep um, this photo here. We can select it as a two. So I, I hit the number two and it selects that. And then I can hit command two and that would make it yellow. Um, or I could hit like command three to make it green, command four to make it blue, so on and so forth. Um, or you can also use like command zero, which would get rid of the color rating. And if you hit zero here, it gets rid of the star rating. So let's pretend that we've gone through all these photos here. And, but just to show you how quick this is, like literally I'm scanning through all these photos, stop. Scanning through, stop. And there's like literally no load time. It's just pretty much instant. Um, so now that we've called this part of the wedding, we can get rid of this little preview window. And now we're back at this contact sheet area here. And here's where it gets extra awesome. So now we can go into our Lightroom and this is the same folder. So it's the getting ready section of the day. I select all the photos in that folder. Then I would wanna go to the top and hit metadata and then read metadata from files. So you make sure you wanna hit read metadata from files. I can't stress that enough. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna read the files from Photo Mechanic and then apply the same metadata as far as the stars and the colors go to these photos. So I'm gonna read from. If you hit save metadata to files, what this is gonna do is take whatever rating is going on in your Lightroom and apply it to the ones in Photo Mechanic, which at that point we would lose all the colon we just did in Photo Mechanic. So do not hit that. Um, so read files right here, and then it'll pop up with this little warning and it says this will overwrite the metadata in Lightroom catalog with the metadata from the file from Photo Mechanic. This operation is not undoable. So once you hit this, it's a done deal. So I'm gonna hit read. And now it's reading all of the files. And to give that a second to get done there. So now that it's done, uh, we started with 627 photos and it took me about, I don't know, three minutes to call that section of the day. So I can click rate it now. And now we're down to 104 photos. These are all the ones that we chose in Photo Mechanic. And you'll notice it even carried over our yellow um, ratings here. And th that's it. I mean, it's as simple as that. And th that's literally how quick it is. Um, I guess that's really about it. If you have any questions or anything that you need um, about Photo Mechanic or something maybe that I missed or didn't explain very well or anything like that, you can leave a comment below in the video um, or you can just send me a email to um, photobarpodcast at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have about that. Anyhow, hopefully that helps and it speeds up your, you know, your workflow it makes your life so much better and then you can spend that extra time doing other stuff like hanging out with your family, drinking beer or traveling or whatever you want to do. All right, cool. Talk to you guys later.